Well, a teenager has been arrested in the low country in connection to a violent armed robbery in Greenville County. Tony Miller was shot several times back in December and tonight only on Fox. The victim is speaking out about one of her accused attackers being caught. Now, while Tony Miller is somewhat relieved, she knows there are several others still out there who were behind this attack. Fox Carolina Shell Ramin was on scene the day Miller was shot. Shell, I'm sure that day has changed her life forever. Yeah, you know, it has Cody. Tony Miller tells me she knew she had to be patient to wait for that arrest, and thankfully it paid off. Low, Low County investigators arrested that teenage suspect. He will be charged and brought back here to the detention center. But being on scene, you know, very rarely do we get to hear a story like Tony's, and hers has everything to do with her faith. It's my phone that I send to him every morning. Thank you, Jesus for saving me. Tony Miller starts her day off with a grateful heart and a song. I had just sung that song when I got the shower to walk up the street. That day. That day. A few weeks ago, Miller had no idea how much she would live the lyrics of that song until a shooting almost took her life. I got a shot in each leg. I got a shot on my arm. I got a shot in my breast and two shots in my stomach. I got shot six times. Shot six times, Tony Miller was still trying to find the silver lining when Greenville County deputies responded to the Poe Mill community. And I told him he had some pretty eyes to detect. <laughs> the community rallied behind that bubbly personality after investigators say a group of about four men tried to rob her. I can't let him get me down on this ground because if he get me down on this ground, I'm dead. So I'm tussling him, getting him off me so I can get my gun and pow. Him. She credits her right to bear arms and the man upstairs for her survival after the suspects attacked. It's like God sent them angels like, go block this, go block that, get them shields, block, block, block. And the angels just block every bullet from hitting anything, anything major in my body. Her big question remains, why? What caused the suspects to make their move? Now she may get her chance to ask. Investigators announced Wednesday they found one of the suspects in the low country. 18 year old Christian Memminger. He just threw away his life for something for nothing because they didn't get nothing. But I do forgive him. With one arrest behind her, she's standing taller, but still praying for the day the case is closed. But for justice to come, I'm so thankful. So very thankful. And I'm thankful for my life. Deputies tell us that Memminger will be charged with attempted murder as well as several other charges as soon as he's brought back here the to, to the detention center. And Tony tells me she believes that Memminger actually lives pretty close by. There are other suspects just like him still out there tonight. If you know who they are or where they could be, you need to call Crime Stoppers immediately. Reporting live in Greenville tonight, I'm Shelby Mean, Fox Carolina, the 10 o'clock news.